Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have almost done with the texturing of this particular interior over here. So let's select this part, the wall area over here and let's assign some texture. So I'll again go into the material editor. Let's go into the slate material editor. So I have not got the same pattern for the wall but I will be assigning some other texture over here. So I will go into this general bitmap and I will call a texture over here for that. So I have just taken up a one wall pattern. Again, I'll go into this Alright So let's again go into this and give a UVW map And I can Slightly adjust it convert to editable poly so now let's start with the lights so what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be assigning one light over here and let's go into this let's select this light I'll just get some template over here. I'll go down, set it as target, uniform diffuse. And if you want, I can just activate this VRA IPR to see how it looks like over here. So I can just, again, I can go into this and I can change it to warm a bit and make it as warm and I can increase the intensity of the light or I can go with the uh, Kelvin also over here looks much better so I'll again go into this and just off this I'll select this light. So, where we want this light, I'll just drag this accordingly wherever it is required. I'll just duplicate this. I'll again make a copy of this light over here. So, we have uh, multiple lights everywhere let's render and see how it looks like all right so we'll be defining some more lights so I'll just take this lights over here and I can take some copy of it right over here and here I'll go into rendering, I'll go into the render setup and I'll just make it as HD over here. And let's render and see how it looks like. Alright. So we will be defining some environment over here, I will go into the rendering and I will define some of the environment, looks much better now.
sonal. Again, I'll go over here. Select this light. Can make some multiple copies over here. For the slides, right over here, so you can reduce the intensity of the light. If not required that much, so I can just go over here. I can just select this and I'll slightly reduce the intensity of the light. Simultaneously, I'll add one V ray light right from this direction over here. So I can set one view as a camera view. I love this angle snap toggle. Oh, the carpet is left out. So let's just add the texture for the carpet also. We'll do it. So I'll just quickly find a texture for the carpet. Or we can say a rug texture over here. So we can take a rug texture. So let's just take any of the texture over here first. So let's just save as this, the carpet texture. Let's again go into the V-Ray material and I'll add a bitmap and I'll add this carpet texture over here. So I think we need to set up a proper camera over here. So I'll just go into this slightly Press Ctrl C to place up a camera from that particular view over here. So I've assigned this. So let's again go over here. You can assign some texture for this also. Let's give again a UVW map. set it as a box, not this texture. So I'll just save the file. Once again over here, I'll end isolate this. For this also I'll assign some texture. So let's give a UVW map. So let's go back to the camera view and let's render it once again. So as you can see the light over here is too high over here. I'll just select this V 
V-ray light. I'll go into the temperature and I'll reduce it to 0.5 over here and I'll activate this cast shadow over here and let's render it again and see how it looks like. Okay, so now what I'll be doing over here is like still the light looks very very high. I'll just select this over here. I'll slightly 0.08 over here in this way. I can easily do that. So now over here what I'll be doing is like so I'll just reduce its uh, intensity I've already reduced it so let's render it once again over here still the lights look very high I'll select this V-ray light 0.04 if not required I can I can slightly just push this light a bit over here I'll select this and select this light let's reduce its intensity more over here and let's render it again so what I can do over here is like still I can work with the intensity of this so let's make it to 600 so this is not an uh, instance over here I am reducing the light of this 600 let's make it to 550 make this to 550 so we have made a copy and not done any kind of instance over here and let's render it again now looks much better we can slightly reduce the reflections for this how we can do it let's again go into the material go into the reflection I think uh, we have some of the reflections assigned let's reduce this reflections to very less and if you want you can give some reflections to the floor can add some reflections to the floor if required looks better now I think we can work a bit with the camera so I'll slightly shuffle this towards the right looks much better save the file over here so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so as you can see we have started with the lights over here for this particular interior tutorial so I can work a bit with the temperature if required that can be done so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial